Hey guys, so what I want you guys to think about, right, is not all the time we're going to get the buggy, but because of the buggy being like a, um, a really dangerous submission that people are scared of, we can use it to, to, to make them move, to make them move in different directions. We're thinking in those directions and we're already a couple steps ahead, okay? So the first one I would like you guys to think about is, and let me preface this with, when we're going for the fake buggy, our routes for defense need to be on point, right? So if you've never done an armbar defense, never done a Kimura defense, you don't know how to escape somebody taking your back. That's crazy, right? Work on those things first, right? Before you start giving somebody not even a, a full buggy, but a fake buggy, right? So what I mean by the fake buggy, guys, is I'm not elbow striking and getting my uppercut all the way. For example, say my partner's staying super strong here. Say he's on all fours. Yep, just like that. And I can't lock this up and I'm trying, right? I'm just gonna go hand inside the inside of my thigh, okay? From here, even if he goes to posture up even more right here, right? what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my hips, act like I'm getting out for the normal buggy. He's being smart, he's not. If he pushes back in, boom, we can we can lock it up. But he's staying, uh, post your right hand on the mat. Go back, on the floor. Yep, push it off. Yep, nice, perfect. So guys, when this tension happens right here, look, all we're looking to do is get our bottom side knee to the inside. My hand's gonna find the inside of his bicep and my knee, comes right to his shoulder right here. We're gonna find our pyramid control. When we get to our pyramid control, I can just pull him through, finish my triangle, or I can be right here. I can pull his head in, push it away. Look how I keep this collar tie, flip this leg over his head. My Achilles lands on my forearm. I retract my knee backwards. I lock my gable grip, and I finish my good little clinch. Okay, so the concept here, guys, is we can't lock it up um, because they're 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 super smart, right? So I buggy choke them three times in a round. There's two minutes left. And I'm still trying to go for it. How can I continue to lock it up, right? So locking it up right here, right? What we're looking to do is get this bottom side shin to the inside. And if guys they attack this far side arm, so say he rotates all the way through. Yep, attacks my far side arm. I just need to be a step ahead in the defense. And then I can be a step ahead in the offense. 